this module, you will learn about meaning of inventory and inventory control, list of items in an inventory list and their features. Meaning of inventory. In general, inventory refers to a collection of things or a list of items. The dictionary meaning of inventory is a detailed list of articles, goods, property, etc. By this definition, there can be an inventory of electronic gadgets or assets that we own, a list of family members or the names of the books we own, and so on. However, in business context, inventory refers to raw materials, semi-finished goods, consumables, spare parts, and finished goods. Hence, any direct or indirect business requirement that is essential to either make a sale of the end product or is needed at any stage to get the final product fall under the inventory. An inventory can be made up of tangible as well as intangible items. An inventory dealing with tangible items would include more of physical and material items. On the other hand, inventory of intangible items could have skills, traits, characteristics or memories of life. In the business context, inventory deals with tangible items. Businesses could also be of three types, manufacturing, trading, wholesale or retail, and service. In this module, we shall limit our discussion to manufacturing and trading business and not include service sector. Certain service businesses may use tangible items like spares and repairs. Out of these two, Spares is the tangible part of the business and repair is the service part. Similarly, other items such as solvent, rags, consumables, etc. that are used in the business are treated the same. In accounting context, inventory refers to the monetary value of goods or items owned by the business Ownership being a crucial factor. As far as the inventory location is concerned, it does not matter whether it belongs to you or the vendor. Likewise, even though you may have someone else's inventory in your premise or unit and is responsible for it, still, it will not be treated as your inventory. Expected behavior of an inventory. Ideally, the inventory should be available whenever the demand arises without losing time at the lowest possible cost. There should not be a stock out situation in a manufacturing or trading unit. While meeting the demand of inventory could be solved by stocking up inventory in big quantities Supplying those inventories at low cost could be challenging. Inventory control is possible through an effective and planned system. There are two major aspects of a control system, physical and fiscal or monetary. We shall learn about these in detail, but first we shall know what constitutes an inventory. Meaning of control. In common parlance, control means as per expectations. So, when we say that things are under control, it means that things are behaving as per the expectations. Expectations with certain behavior or events are objective and depend on the circumstances and situations. Any system that helps in achieving the expected behavior is a control system. Thus, inventory control system is one that helps in achieving the expected behavior of the inventory. 
Inventory items. An inventory system designed for storing and managing raw materials will be different for items like fruits, spare parts, and consumables. Thus, it becomes necessary to keep in mind the different features of inventory items while designing an inventory system. Here is a list of items in an inventory. Stock Keeping Unit or SKU Code, Motley Crowd, Space, Value, Lead Time, Standard versus Made to Order, Seasonality of Supply, Demand Not Uniform or Predictable, Shelf Life, Safety Aspects, Obsolescence. Let us learn about each of these in detail. Stock Keeping Unit Code Stock Keeping Unit or SKU is the fundamental unit for data collection and manipulation which is used for deriving significant statistics and decision making in business. Every SKU in the inventory has a unique alphanumeric code based on some significant aspect of the item such as color, size, weight or any important feature of the item. The SKUs are tracked using barcodes and RFID tags. Motley Crowd For accounting purpose, an inventory is valued in monetary terms. There are many types of SKUs such as raw materials, packing materials, spare parts, semi-finished goods, work in progress, finished goods, and consumables. SKU code helps in identifying the class of all these SKU items. Each class of items is treated differently based on various factors. Space The space requirement for the storage of inventory will not be the same for all items. Some inventory items, like straws, may be low in value but would take up huge space. Similarly, some items, like diamonds, may be very high in value but may not need much space. A good inventory system must take a note of the warehousing needs for different items. Value Items vary in their monetary value and they are hence treated accordingly. Some may be highly valuable and some moderately or lowly valued. We shall learn more about this in Pareto's Principle. Lead Time The lead time to purchase or manufacture an item depends on different factors. These include type of raw material used, standard or special specification, processing time, scheduling of machine, distance between source and user location. The lead time may also fluctuate due to unpredictability in the factors themselves. Standard versus made to order Standard items in the inventory can be easily substituted and have many vendors as suppliers. On the other hand, the customized items or made to order may have limited vendors as a source of supply. Seasonality of supply If the inventory is made up of a seasonal item like vegetables, grains or fruits, then the supply will depend on the season and the inventory control system will be changed accordingly. Demand not uniform or predictable Sometimes the demand of an inventory could depend on factors like weather, festivals, events or opening of schools and colleges. Also, sometimes it is easy to estimate a demand like raw material needed to produce a custom-made order. But sometimes it may not be easy to calculate demand like in case of spares. 
Shelf Life Some inventory items have a limited shelf life like vegetables and fruits. Since these items are perishable, they require special storage facilities like freezers and cold storage. Certain food items and medicines also have expiry dates which puts limitations on the inventory management. Safety Aspects Certain items like gasoline, combustible substances and hazardous chemicals need special precaution while storage. For example, in a matchstick factory, hazardous items like potassium and phosphorus are not stored together or in the adjoining areas for the risk of catching fire or mix-up of items by accident. Obsolescence The inventory items become obsolete with time and their demand drops due to better technology or fashion trends available in the market. In this module, you have learned in business context, inventory refers to raw materials, semi-finished goods, consumables, spare parts, and finished goods. Any direct or indirect business requirement that is essential to either make a sale of the end product or is needed at any stage to get the final product fall under the inventory. An inventory can be made up of tangible as well as intangible items businesses can be of three types manufacturing trading wholesale or retail and service in accounting context inventory refers to the monetary value of goods or items owned by the business ownership being a crucial factor any system that helps in achieving the expected behavior is a control system Thus, inventory control system is one that helps in achieving the expected behavior of the inventory. Ideally, the inventory should be available whenever the demand arises, without losing time at the lowest possible cost. There should not be a stockout situation in a manufacturing or trading unit. A list of items in an inventory contains stock keeping unit or SKU code, motley crowd, space, value, lead time, standard versus made to order, seasonality of supply, demand not uniform or predictable, shelf life, safety aspects, obsolescence.